going live. We're live. We are live. Oh, we're live. It says we're live. Greetings, peeps. Welcome to another episode of KQ. We are live coming to you from San Francisco, California on this lovely Tuesday, September 29th, 2020. In San Francisco today, it is 65 degrees outside right now, and it's what's called partially sunny. You could also call it partially foggy. Uh, there is also a little bit of smoke in the air today. There are so many fires here in California, and the wind has changed, so now last week we got a little breather from the smoke. Now the wind has shifted, and it's blowing right over the top of us, so hopefully we won't have <clears throat> ash raining down like we did for the last couple of weeks. So welcome everyone. Let's check in with the chat really quick. We have Steven and Jacqueline here from the Cooking and Steven with Jacqueline channel. Hey guys, great to see you. Thanks for coming to hang out with us. And we have Suburban Barbecue here today. Always a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you for coming out to hang out with us. And we have Sent1-1000. It's always great to see you. We appreciate your continued support. And we also have Dennis from the Grizzly Bear Canning Company, which are the products that we're featuring today in our taste test during this live stream. So welcome, Dennis. It's great to see you. And we also have Michelle from Michelle's Cozy Home Channel. Woo -hoo! Great to see you, Michelle. Uh, for those of you who may not have already have received an announcement or seen the video on Michelle's channel, she is spearheading a really cool collaboration in the crafting and foodie communities here on YouTube. So be sure to go to the Mich Michelle's Cozy Home channel and check out all the details on the collaboration. It's two weeks from today on October 13th. So go there and get all the details and get your videos ready because it's gonna be a really cool collab. The crafting community and the foodie community are coming together for a Halloween collaboration mm -hmm. called hashtag Michelle's Halloween Boo Bash, which I think is a really cool name. Michelle, hats off to you because that's an awesome name. I think it's super cool. We can't wait to participate. And my baby sister, Georgette, is here in the chat. Hi, Georgette, it's great to see you. We haven't had a chance to chat for a while now. We've, both, we've all been, you know, like hiding in the house here in California because you're not allowed to go outside. So it's great to see you, Georgette. Thank you for going to hang out with us. And Margaret is here from Margaret's Make and Bake. Oh, hello, Margaret, great to see you. If you haven't checked out Margaret's channel, she makes really amazing things. And her Instagram is also really cool. So be sure you follow that as well. And Tri Chip Junkie is here from the Tri Chip Junkie <laughs> channel. <laughs> they make great food on that channel. That's awesome. And Suzanne's here from Suzanne Cullenberg Cake. Woo -hoo -hoo. This is a great crowd today. Thanks everyone for coming to hang out with us. And Suzanne's channel, we just learned, is going to be changing its name from Suzanne Cullenberg Cake to Suzanne's Sweet Kitchen. I'm pretty sure I got that right. I hope I got that right, Suzanne. So we're looking forward to, I mean, whatever she names her channel, we're gonna watch it because she makes the most gorgeous cakes and she really makes the decoration tutorials approachable as far as how to get it all to happen the way she does and things look great. So we really like checking out that channel. And let's see, I wanna make sure I didn't mention one. Oh, Double ZZ Ranch. Hey, great to see you. We hope everything's going good up there in Oregon. They've had a lot of fires in Oregon as well, and their air quality has been horrible, just like here in the Bay Area and most of California. So today it's not too bad, but we're locked inside with the fan on, and uh, we're doing our best to keep the air purifier going. So, okay, welcome everyone. I will check back in with the chat every so often during the live stream. So if I miss you, send me a message in the chat and put use the at symbol and highlight kitchen queries and that way it gives me a little yellow symbol if you're trying to talk to me and that makes it easier to pay attention because sometimes the chat rolls by really fast and it's you, sometimes i miss messages so if i miss a message from you just let uh, let me say thank you in advance for being here today we really appreciate it so the purpose of our episode today is to show off some lovely products that we got uh we've actually had these products for a few weeks though these three jars are still sealed tight. You may recall we used the Grizzly Bear Canning Company Blueberry Jam a couple of weeks ago when we did a live stream where we made the waffle iron panini sandwiches, and we put this one in, we put cream cheese with this, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, this was, we put the blueberry jam with the cream cheese. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so good. So shall we show them what you're going to do with this oh, yeah. we're, since we've already opened this one uh i can tell you that it tastes amazing <laughs> the blueberry jam was actually 
the first product I saw from the Grizzly Bear Canning Company and the color of it was just like so gorgeously purple. Okay, so what Philip's showing us now is he's used the blueberry jam from Grizzly Bear Canning Company and he's filled puff pastry and then twisted it. So what you did was you took the puff pastry, rolled it out gently. On sugar. Uh, okay, he rolled it out on granulated sugar and then you filled half of yep. the puff pastry with the blueberry jam, folded the puff pastry over, cut it into evenly sized strips and twisted them into these lovely twists. So what's gonna happen right now is bake them. these beauties, Philip is gonna pop these babies in the oven and a little later during this broadcast, they'll be done and we'll pop them back out of the oven and then we'll get to taste those so we can see how the jam tastes when you use it in a recipe as opposed to just slathering it on uh, toast or biscuits or whatever. And also we're going to taste each different uh, jar of goodies separately. And then we're also going to taste them on biscuits. Philip made us some biscuits earlier this morning. So here you can see we've got these lovely biscuits that we're going to try out these jams and fruit butters on. So let me tell you a little bit about what we've got going on here. Uh, we have this lovely selection of products from Grizzly Bear Canning Company. And Dennis, thanks for being with us today. Dennis is the genius behind these lovely products. And it's my understanding, I hope I have this correct, that these recipes were from Dennis's relatives, mom, grandma, and they go back years and years and years. These are really, truly old fashioned style canned products. And the line of products here, uh, there's four different things, as you can see, we have the blueberry jam that we've already been raving about because we tasted this before. We also have a strawberry jam that looks really yummy and I can't wait to taste this one. And then there are some fruit butters. One is apple butter and the other pear is butter. pear butter. Ooh, these all sound really good to me. Now, we also had in this, along with this, uh, these lovely products in the package that Dennis sent to us, there was also a big, huge jar of pasta sauce. Oh, yeah. And it was so I good. I <laughs> He did. He ate all I had on everything. It. I know. Put the pasta sauce on everything. So if you have a chance to, uh, if you find Grizzly Bear Canning Company products, and you definitely want to pick up the pasta sauce because it was awesome. And you can order these products online and have them delivered right to your front door, just like we did. Uh, in the description below this video, there's a link to the Etsy store for Grizzly Bear Canning Company. So you can get some of these lovely fruit butters and homemade old fashioned jams for yourself. And Dennis also makes lovely artisan bread. We haven't had the pleasure of trying any of that yet, but I saw some pictures on his Facebook from a trade show that they recently did where there were vendors with different food products and those loaves, his loaves of bread are huge. They look amazing. So let's see, what, what should we, let's, Look, since we already have this one open, let's do another test. We've tested, taste tested the blueberry before, oh, more that. <laughs> but I think we should taste test it again right now. And what I really like about this is this lovely color. That's what drew me to it at first. Let's give this a little taste. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is supremely mm, delicious. Tasty. Really good. Big blueberry flavor. Yeah, really big blueberry flavor, which mm. is kind of a tough thing to do because blueberry can kind of be a subtle flavor, but this is just excellent. I just love the consistency, the flavor, and this lovely purple color. Nice this little sweet. is awesome. Yes, it's nicely sweet, but it's not cloyingly yeah. sweet. It's, it's got really just the right amount of sweetness to balance the fruit and really pump up the flavor. I think this tastes awesome. This is excellent. So we'll come back to this a little later in the show. Um, if you just joined us, Philip put some puff pastry twists in the oven and they're filled with this blueberry jam. I can't wait to try those. So let's check in with the chat. I think I've said hi to everyone that's here. If I missed you, welcome. Thanks for coming to hang out with us. So now, <clears throat> Oh, one thing I want to say really quickly, um, I discovered Grizzly Bear Canning Company on another YouTube channel, and that channel is Eudaimonious Mark II, run by our colleague Robert Jones, who's also from here in California. And Robert tried all of these products in a taste testing video, and 
I thought they all looked awesome. But the one that really caught my eye was my favorite color is purple. So the purple blueberry jam I thought was amazing. And then Dennis was very generous. And after I complimented the products on Eudaimonia Smart 2 channel, Dennis sent us a box full of goodies to try out. So thank you so much, Dennis. These are lovely products. I think they, uh, I can't wait to try the rest of yeah. them. So <laughs> let's see. Okay, well, let's try a butter now. How about pear? Okay. Okay, we're going to try the pear butter now. So let's open this up. These are sealed because they've been canned. So, oh, there we go. Okay, that came off pretty good. Okay, first I want, let's smell it. Mmm, smell that. Mmm, this nice smells bite. amazing. These are, you can tell from the aroma that these are really nicely spiced. Okay, so let's give this pear butter a taste and see what this is like. Mm. There you go. Okay, that's good. I can't wait to try this. This looks so good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I get the pear. Yeah, I the definitely get the pear. pear. Cinnamon, ginger, maybe nutmeg. Uh, what does it Did say? It? it says on the uh, it says on the front. Uh, it's got. Sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, and cardamom. And cardamom. Oh, the cardamom. Nutmeg. That's what we're mm. tasting is the cardamom. This is so good. Let me hold this up to the camera so everyone can see what it looks like. It's this lovely fruity texture. And I, oh my gosh, that looks so good. And it tastes really good. This is very much pear forward in a good way. Mm. So let's want to try it on a biscuit. Oh, please. Okay. Thank you for making us these lovely biscuits. We've got these big, fat, colossal biscuits. Now, we did not make these from scratch. No, they're store-bought. These are- But I baked them. <laughs> <laughs> he baked them, <laughs> but they're from store-bought dough. Okay, so I'm just gonna bust mine in here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. Go for this. Slather it on there. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so we're going to try this pear butter on a biscuit now and see how this works out. One of my favorite ways to use jams or fruit butters mm. is on biscuits. And we don't get to eat biscuits that often around here anymore. So this is really a fun special occasion for us. So I'm just going to set this <clears throat> like that. Okay. Oh, you already tried it. Yeah. Okay. Well, Cheers. Sorry, I couldn't wait. <laughs> no, I not wait. I know. Okay, I want to try this on the biscuit. Mmm. Mmm. This is supremely mm. good. Mm. Really delicious. Mm. We we definitely give a big yes to the pear butter. Oh yeah. Awesome flavor profile. Mm. The texture is really good. There's nice little pieces of fruit. The seasonings, you can really taste all of it. It comes together for a really awesome flavor profile. I think this pear butter is a knockout. It's dynamite. Mmm. Mmm, mm, this is so, so delicious. Oh my gosh, we are so lucky we get to try all these lovely products. I love my job. I know. Thank you, Dennis, for sending us this package of mm. your homemade old-fashioned jams and fruit butters. These products are lovely. Mm. Okay, so I'm just checking in with the chat room. I see everyone's playing nicely. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you being here today. If you joined us late, we're taste testing and reviewing products mm. from the Grizzly Bear canning company they're based in florida and they make lovely jams fruit butters as you've just seen us taste pasta sauce and artisan breads so there's a lot of lovely products there i think these would be excellent holiday gifts oh, hell yeah. to give people you know especially you want to give somebody something that you can't find just anywhere this definitely fits the bill so if you'd like to check out the grizzly bear canning company products we put a link in the description right below this video and that'll take you to the grizzly bear canning company etsy store where you can buy all of these lovely jams and fruit butters individually or as a set i mean i want i want to have them all if it was me well, but they're all good yeah we're they're all say, good we're gonna well, well we're, we're gonna start. find out okay i'm i'm betting that they're all good based on the two that we've mm. already tasted so this this pear butter is really good mm -hmm. i'm kind of thinking like if we warmed this up a little bit and used it to top vanilla ice cream, we could make a really awesome sundae. What do you think? I and mean, that's great. And you also go down on waffles. Yes, on waffles. Or, or chaffles yeah. or pancakes. Yeah. Mm. Excellent, excellent, excellent. 
Okay, let's see, everyone, I think I said hi to everyone. If I missed you, just know that we're so happy that you're here today and we really thank you for taking time out of your Tuesday to come and join us for our taste testing. And thank you, Margaret, be sure to click the like button if you enjoy what's going on here today. If you're not already subscribed to our channel, please click the red subscribe button. So in the future, when we do other live streams, you'll get a notification <clears throat> sent to your phone and you'll know right when everything's gonna happen. We usually post that we're going to do a live a few hours before it actually starts to unfold. So hopefully we'll give you enough time to clear your schedule so you can come and hang out with us. Okay, so let's see. We've got, we've tasted the blueberry previously as well as today. And the, for those of you who joined us late, the blueberry jam is a filling and some puff pastry twists that Philip just put in the oven a few minutes ago. And they'll be ready a little later and we'll be tasting those before this broadcast ends. So hang out for that because the puff pastry twist reveal is coming up a little bit later. So are you ready to try something oh, else? Okay, let's let's go for the strawberry. strawberry. Yeah, we're gonna try the strawberry jam next. Thank you. I don't wanna double dip, so let me put these used spoons. Those are the used spoons. There we go. Oh, this looks good, let's smell it. Ooh, really smell that strawberry. Mm, really strawberry really? pork. Okay, let's show everyone what this looks like. Now this has definitely got a reddish tinge to it, but what you'll notice is it's not like shocking bright red like grocery store jam because there's no artificial anything in here. There's no fake color, there's nothing. It's just all natural ingredients. And I can see you're chomping at the bit, so please be my guest and try the strawberry and let me know what you think. Mm, oh my. How is it? That is so strawberry. I've got to try it. That is some of the fresh the strawberry tasting jam I've ever had. Let me taste mm. it. That's tangy. Oh my gosh. That is really good. Really good. Really strawberry forward in a really good way. Mm. One of the things I rem I've read previously about the Grizzly Bear Canning Company line is they do their best to get the freshest of the fresh produce when they're doing their canning in large batches. But all this stuff is made, I would call this a boutique food company because Dennis makes everything at home and it's sort of a one man operation. Um, I'm sure he has help from his husband. Uh, and this does, but I think this stuff is great. I love boutique foods because you get these special qualities that you don't find in store-bought stuff. And because there's no preservatives or additives or anything artificial, all you get is like really good fruit flavor. flavor. Yeah, this is awesome. Okay, well, let's try some of this. We're going to have to get a new knife. Fresh knife. We're going to try the strawberry jam on a biscuit. On a biscuit. Mm. I want a tiny little bit. Of I'm just going to put a little bit of butter on my biscuit. Oh, shoot. <laughs> butter okay. your biscuit. Well, there's one of my flubs. Are These are the kind of things that I usually uh, cut out of the video, but we can't do that with the live, so we'll just have to go with it. Okay, let me try this strawberry now. Cheers. Cheers, peeps. Mmm. This is supremely good. I think I'm going to have to agree with you. This is the most strawberry forward tasting jam I've ever had. This tastes excellent. Like fresh strawberry. It tastes like fresh strawberries mm. that just came out of the field. Mm. This is really, really good. Mmm. Oh my gosh. This is so delicious. Okay. I want to wipe up this butter mess before the mouse gets in it again. See, this is why we can't hide nice things because I constantly drop stuff all the time. People ask, it's like, oh, in your videos, you never seem to make any mistakes. That's because I edit them all out. Well, once in a while, I leave a mistake in just so you know that I'm not a robot. But oh my gosh, this strawberry jam is so, so, so delicious. Mm -hmm. Yes, I totally agree with Scent One 1000. This would also be really good on ice cream, frozen yogurt. You could totally work this. I think we could even... Put it in the blender with some ice cream and milk and make a strawberry shake out of it. It's so mm. strawberry forward. It's so, mm. so yummy. I think this stuff is excellent. Mm. 
Really, really good. Num, num, num. Oh, we are so excited to have mm. these products. Okay, so um, let me make sure we check in with the chat. Everyone's playing nicely. <laughs> Hi, Suzanne. Yeah, I know. Suzanne uh, mentioned that in her latest video that we watched this morning for this fall harvest cake that she did with these big rosettes. And she did that technique where you put all the frosting and you roll it all up in a piece of cellophane or a saran wrap, you know, plastic wrap. And then you put that inside of a pastry bag so you can pipe three or four or 10 colors all at once. Oh, anyway, wow. it came out really, really mm -hmm. super cool. And she was commenting that she's thinking of doing lives. If uh, a lot of our friends here today are operating their own channels, if you've never done a live before, I would encourage you to consider giving it a try. Uh, what we did, we had to buy a high-end, high-definition webcam and a microphone that can record without having to have it, you know, stuck on on you like. And what you're going to notice for those of you who haven't done live streams before, once you do, when you do a live stream, your watch hours are going to shoot way, 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 way up. We usually get about triple the amount of views and watch hours for live streams as we do for our pre-recorded videos. I'm not sure if that's true for everyone on YouTube. Of course, all things are different, but I think doing live streams is really fun. You get to interact with the audience via the chat room. And also, like I say, it'll send your watch hours way, way up. And yeah, it's super fun to get to interact with everyone. And then one of the other things, well, editing videos is actually one of my favorite parts of the whole process of creating a show. What's really nice about doing a live stream is that you do all your setup and your prep and then the live stream unfolds. And then afterwards, all you have to do is clean up all the mess you've made. There's no editing. So even though that's one of my favorite parts, Sometimes editing videos, as you guys know, takes hours and hours or even days and days, depending on how complicated you like to make things. And so when you do a live stream and then once the live stream ends, all you have to do is tidy up the mess you've made and bada bing, you've got a lot of watch hours built up. So I'd encourage you to try doing a live stream if you haven't done one before. And I see Michelle's commenting about she loves editing too. You can tell Michelle that you love editing because your videos are so well edited. And of course it helps that Michelle's projects are always so interesting to watch. If you haven't seen Michelle's Cozy Home channel before and you're a crafter or an artist or DIYer like we are, oh, look what's coming. You definitely wanna check out Michelle's channel because she makes really beautiful things. So here we go. Already out of the oven, I'm gonna have to get an Instagram picture of this so I can put this up later. The blueberry puff pastry twists are fresh out of the oven. Let me get a picture of these. Ooh, those are good. It's still a little okay, hot. they're still really hot. So we're, so we're gonna have to let these cool down for a little while before we get to taste them. But we will definitely be tasting those before this program ends. <laughs> so thank you for making those. I really yeah. appreciate that. Philip prepared the puff pastry dough yesterday and then we just stuck it in the freezer overnight. And then you just pop it out like 15, 20 minutes. 20 before, minutes. Uh, yeah. 20 minutes before you're ready to bake it. Let it sit out on the counter and thaw out of it and then pop it in the oven. What temperature did you bake the twist? 400. At? Okay, 400 for, for 15 minutes. Okay, so the puff pastry twists went in the oven. Uh, they were thawed to not quite room temperature. Yeah, but not, they weren't uh, frozen. They weren't frozen, uh, but they were still chilled. Yeah. And they went in the oven at 400 for 15 minutes and you saw the results. We'll be back to those in a few minutes so we can taste test. Let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, oh okay. Oh, cool. <laughs> Dennis is here and Dennis has typed into the chat. Thank you, Dennis. If you want to order some Grizzly Bear canning products, you can use the link that he's provided or the link down below and use the promo code kitchen queers and you'll get 10 percent off oh, hey. okay <laughs> now these products for homemade old-fashioned recipe mm. products i think the price point on these mm. is really 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 reasonable but if you can save 10 percent, then you can buy more because that's what we always do when things are on sale i don't just get what i wanted i get what i wanted plus more so thank you so much, Dennis, for doing that. We really appreciate it. So Grizzly Bear Canning Company, people, that's what we're taste testing today. 
And we've already tried the blueberry jam. And this is the filling in the puff pastry twists that are cooling down over on the counter that we're gonna be tasting a little bit later in this broadcast. And we also tried the pear butter, which is really excellent, very pear forward. The seasonings are awesome. It just, it smells wonderful and it tastes wonderful and has a really nice fruity texture. You can see the pieces of fruit. It's really, 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 really good. I don't have a lot of experience with fruit butters myself, but I think this stuff tastes oh, great. Love apple yeah. butter off the kit. Uh, and the, we've also tried the strawberry jam, if you missed that. This is super delicious, very strawberry forward. I think that this, that any of these also, you know what they would be really good for is also a cake filling. Oh yeah. You know, if, mm -hmm. if we do cake sometimes where there's, you know, a layer of frosting, then a layer of cake, then a layer of some sort of filling, and either the jams or these butters would be excellent inside of a cake. I think that would add tons of flavor. The textures are lovely. I mean, what's not to like? I think that this strawberry would go with chocolate really well. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then like this pear with like a vanilla cake, maybe? Maybe. Or a spice cake. A spice cake. Yeah. Because of this. I'm gonna be making a carrot cake in a little while, so. Ooh, you're making a carrot cake later? Well, I mean, not today. Okay, we're making a carrot cake scene. <laughs> we're probably thing? gonna try one of these. So we'll let you know. Uh, if you're on Instagram, uh, be sure to check out. We're gonna be showing you what uh, what we're gonna be doing with these now that, now that we're opening them. We're gonna be trying them not only on biscuits, but actually in other recipes as well. So. Good work. So uh, Suburban it, Suburban Barbecue is asking us to put the link in the chat. So I'm not sure. Uh, I put the uh, Etsy link to the Grizzly Bear Canning Company store in the description below the video. I don't have the ability to add a link to a chat right this minute, but if Dennis is still with us, Dennis, please be sure to put the link to your store in the chat. And if it won't let you do it anyway, and then I'll approve it. Cause sometimes the, uh, <coughs> the YouTube system holds back messages that have links in them. So if you put a link in and it won't show up, I'll see what I can do. Oh, oh, Georgette already bought some and now she didn't get, it was after the discount. I'm sure we can work something out about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, somebody's trying to put the link. I'm going to have to go back and find the link and see if I can put it in the chat room. Let me do that right now. Here we go. If it won't let you guys do it, maybe it'll let me do it. I'll try. Let's see. This is worth making happen because this is important. So control V. Let's see if this will work. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, oops. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, I put the link in and then it did work, except it's not the right link. It took us to an uh-oh page. So let me go back here and see if we can get this right. Okay. Well, it's going to take a minute. I don't know what went wrong here. Here we go. Okay. There, that worked. Okay. I need to get the entire link in there. So you guys can give this a try. Okay, here we go. I'm going to try one more time. Thank you for being patient while I figured this out. There we go. Now let's enter. Here we go. That should do it. So this should take us to... And it did. And it does. Okay. Yay. 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 Okay. Well, thank you, Dennis, for trying to do that. For some reason... Uh, we must have this set up to where links are blocked. I'm not sure why that is. I'll have to go check that out. But anyway, I've just successfully put the link in the chat. Thank you for being patient while I figured out how to make that happen correctly. And that'll take you right to the Etsy page where you can buy any one of these or all of them. Personally, I'm going to suggest that you get all of them because they are so yummy. Now, the Grizzly Bear Canning Company's motto is it tastes like warm memories in a jar. <laughs> I think this definitely That's a great slogan. does that. Yeah. It's a really great slogan, Dennis. This is so cool. And these products are supremely yummy. So thank you to everyone who's been making a purchase. I'm sure I know Dennis appreciates it and we appreciate it. I, I can tell you that, well, we still yet to try the Apple one, but I'm, I'm 
highly looking forward to this. All of the other three that we've already tried are excellent. Mm. And I would highly recommend these products. If you love jam and you love fruit butter, these Grizzly Bear Candy Company products are definitely going to be something you're going to want to have on the menu in your kitchen. So thank you very much, Dennis, for sending us these lovely, lovely products to try. And now apple butter. Hooray. Are you ready to try yeah. the apple butter? Okay, we're going to open the apple butter. There we go. Okay, that's going to have to be stirred just a tiny bit. There we go. Oh, this smells so good. I can smell it from here. Oh my gosh, that looks awesome. Let me see. Mmm, that smells really good. Similar mm -hmm. to the pear butter, but this smells like apples instead of pears, obviously. Yeah. Okay, let's give this a try. Mmm, mm. really yummy. These, this is so yummy. These are excellent. Apple. Dennis, if your mother and grandmother were here, I would tell both of them that these are awesome recipes and I would want to hug and kiss both of them because this food is so good. This stuff tastes mm. excellent. Mm. Oh my gosh, let me check in with the chat. It's like apple pie in a jar. Oh, that's a great idea. Dennis is suggesting in the chat room that the apple butter works really well on roasted pork mm -hmm. and pork chops. Ooh. I could definitely see Ooh. this. At, yeah, that would work really good on pork. And I gotta go get some more pork. Yeah, we've gotta get more pork now so we can use this as a glaze. <laughs> This is super good. Do you want to try this on a biscuit? Yeah. Okay, let's have another biscuit and try these. We don't usually get to eat biscuits very often, so we are going to take full advantage of eating biscuits today so we can try these lovely, lovely treats that Dennis sent to us. So for those of you who are joining us late, we're taste testing products from the Grizzly Bear Canning Company. All these products are old fashioned recipes from the past using homemade techniques and you can taste the difference. These mm. products are very fruit forward and all the different uh, ones that we've tried, the blueberry, strawberry, and pear, <clears throat> as well as the apple, all the fruit flavors are very forward and super, super yummy. So you can tell from the flavor of these mm. that mm. they're using really high quality fruit to make these mm. products. Otherwise they wouldn't taste so good. This is really good. Oh, it is really good. Okay, I'm gonna let you have that knife over there. Okay, so apple butter, or yes, that's the word. We're on apple butter. Okay, apple mm. butter on a biscuit. Let me see how that is. Mmm. Mm. Mm, this is so, so good. Oh my gosh, these are so yummy. Oh, I see Terry is here. Hi, Terry. Great to see you. Thank you for coming to hang out with us today. And if you missed it, a little farther up in the chat, as well as in the description below, <clears throat> there is a link to the Grizzly Bear Canning Company Etsy store. And if you enter the promo code Kitchen Queers, be sure it's plural, you will get 10% off any of the products that you order today. So you can order all of these different fruit butters and jams individually, or you can order a set of all four of them like we have here. Personally, I'm going to recommend that you get all of them because they taste really good. And I think these lovely old fashioned homemade products would make excellent holiday gifts, whether it's for uh, Thanksgiving or Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever you celebrate. And these, it would be lovely to show if you're a guest and you show up with this, <laughs> the host or hostess is going to really seriously thank you because these products are delicious and we've tasted all four of them now. So I think we can say with confidence, Bing, mm -mm. these rate. Okay? Mm. They, when 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 Dennis tells you, when Dennis from Grizzly Bear Canning Company tells you that this is apple butter, he's not kidding. You can definitely taste the apple. There's these lovely spices. There's cinnamon. There's nutmeg, and you can taste everything, and it's all really nicely balanced. And there's definitely a sweetness to these products. I mean, because it is jam and fruit butter, but they're not cloyingly sweet at all. So they're. I think these would be great for a variety of different things. Ice cream, biscuits, pastry, and I think that meat, yeah. <laughs> definitely pork. Any I one of these any, any one of these would be good. I, I like sweet with meat personally, so I think this any one of these would be great on pork chop or a steak. So oh, cooking with Tovia is here. Hi, Tovia. It's great to see you, Chef. 
It's so nice to have you here this afternoon. We appreciate you coming by to see what we're up to. And since you missed the beginning of the show, what we're doing this afternoon is we've been taste testing <clears throat> these lovely jams and fruit butters from the Grizzly Bear Canning Company. This is a boutique canning company that's based in Florida. And there's a link in the chat room a little farther up, and there's also a link below in the description below this video to the Etsy store where the Grizzly Bear Canning Company products are sold. So if you want to add these products to your pantry, you can get 10% off today by typing in the promo code Kitchen Queers. So we hope that helps. If you already made a purchase like my sister Georgette <laughs> and you didn't have the promo code because we didn't have it right at the beginning of the episode, we'll see what we can do about that. So thank you very much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. It's nice to see so many of our friends here in the chat room. So how about those puff pastry oh, twists? Mm -hmm. One of the things that that's been happening for those of you who joined us a little bit late is Philip used the blueberry jam to make some puff pastry twists. And you can come right there. What Philip did was he uh, put some granulated sugar out on a board, rolled out the puff pastry, slathered half of it with the blueberry jam, folded the unslathered half over the top of the jam, pressed it down gently, and then cut the puff pastry into 12 equally sized pieces and then twisted them. Now these, uh, you made these yesterday mm -hmm. and then they were stashed in the freezer overnight. We took them out 20 minutes before we were planning to pop them in the oven so they could thaw out just a little bit. And then they were baked in the oven at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. And this is the outcome. These lovely jam filled puff pastry twists. I think these look rustic and cool and really yummy looking. So let's give these a try. Oh, I can't wait. These look really, really supremely good. Okay, cheers. Cheers, peeps. Mmm. Mm. These are yummy. Really good. The puff pastry is really nice and flaky. And I like the granulated sugar that melted into the exterior of the dough. And then the blueberry jam comes through really nicely. Mm. And even being heated and baked, it still retained its flavor really, really well. This is really supremely delicious. Mm. So this is a super way, super easy way to create a really fast snack, dessert, or just another accoutrement for your buffet table. I think this would also be a great brunch item. Oh my gosh, these are so yummy. Mmm. We did a really good job with the twist too. They're all nice and even and pretty. First of all, times I get it, it came untwisted. <laughs> that happened. You just have to take power over the puff pastry. Mm. Well, thank you, Toby. They look delicious and they taste delicious. I can tell mm. you for sure. Mm. This is I've got all this other stuff to eat. I'm so busy talking that I don't always eat all of my samples, but you can be sure that I'm going to have this for lunch afterwards. These are great. Thanks for making these. I think they look lovely and they taste really good, too. So let's check in with the chat. Oh, Jeff is here from Wine and Dine with Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Great to see you. Thank you for coming to hang out with us this morning. We really appreciate it, or this afternoon, rather. If you're not familiar with the Wine and Dine with Jeff channel, I think you should be. Jeff makes really amazing food. He has a new dinner dish with a wine pairing every Tuesday morning. And I was uh, just commenting earlier that I don't know how Jeff comes up with a, fa a lovely fancy dinner and a wine pairing every single Tuesday. I mean, Tuesday after Tuesday after Tuesday, there's this lovely new food going on in his beautiful kitchen and this awesome wine pairing, oftentimes wines that we've never heard of. So I've learned a lot about different kinds of contemporary wines from watching the show. So if you're not already familiar with the Wine and Dine with Jeff channel, Type that into the search box and run over there and hit the subscribe button because Jeff makes really amazing food and he's also really fun to watch. So cool, Jeff. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with us today. We really appreciate it. And we also really appreciate everyone else for joining us. Oh, Gary's here from Gary's Diecast Collection. Hi, Gary. It's great to see you. We really appreciate you being here. If I've missed your message in the chat, sometimes it runs by really fast. 
just know that we appreciate you guys taking time out of your Tuesday to come and hang out with us today. And I do run through the chat after the live stream ends to check the messages to make sure I get a chance to read everything everyone said, because we do really appreciate your input. So thank you very much for being here. And let's see, I think I said hi to everyone. So now let's taste something else. I wanna taste more of this. This was so good. Mmm. Mm, these are so yummy. So, so delicious. Okay, let me see if I can get this again. Okay. Now, I just put <clears throat> a link in the chat room that'll take you directly to the Grizzly Bear Canning Company Etsy store where you can buy all of these lovely jams and fruit butters and have them delivered right to your front door just like we did. And... Which one? Oh, you're going for the pear. Bear. Yeah, these are so good. Everything about these products taste amazing. I'm going to sneak these over here because I want to put the products back front and center for right now. Okay. I want these products to be right here featured as prominently as possible. So in the Grizzly Bear Canning Company line, there is blueberry jam, strawberry jam, apple butter, and Philip is using bear, the pear butter. Bear. Mm. We've tried all four of these products now, and I like them all. I think these, this stuff tastes just really, really, really good. And not only is the flavor great, but the texture is great. And you can tell from the aroma, the flavor, the texture, that these have been made with love and care from recipes that are tried and true and tested for decades in an old fashioned kitchen because stuff from the store just does not taste this good. No matter what you buy, this stuff tastes excellent. I think we're going to have to uh, make sure we definitely keep these items stocked from now on. These are so supremely delicious. Now I first found out about the Grizzly Bear Canning Company when I saw our YouTube colleague from the channel Eudaimonious Mark II, Robert was featuring these products in a taste test on his channel a few months ago. And when I saw the blueberry jam, I want to show you what this looks like for those of you that didn't see it. The blueberry jam has this lovely, lovely purple color. And not only does it look pretty, it tastes really amazing. And blueberry can be a very hard flavor to pin down, but this is definitely blueberry for it. There is no mistaking that this is blueberry jam. It is absolutely delicious. And I see Dennis has mentioned in the chat that he's going to be doing pumpkin butter next. Ooh. So woot woot, pumpkin butter, that sounds really good. And what we don't have here today, uh, when we got this package, there was also this lovely giant jar full of pasta sauce that Dennis made, and it was absolutely delicious. I like to think of my pasta sauce as the best pasta sauce, but I'm thinking maybe now it's only the second best because the Grizzly Bear Canning Company pasta sauce was supremely delicious and it went well. We put it on lots of stuff besides pasta. I mean, we, meatballs. Yeah, meatballs. We put it over chicken with uh, some Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just everything about it was really warm. super yummy. We could practically just eat it like soup. It was so delicious. So uh yes i know georgette yeah we agree with georgette we love supporting small businesses no even a pizza with it we did yes. we did we with used pepperoni. in fact i think we instagrammed that and i know i put it on our facebook page as well uh, we used the grizzly bear cannon company pasta sauce instead of pizza sauce and it worked out really really well and it was supremely delicious so don't just uh, I love to use products in ways that are maybe a little different than what they might have been intended for uh, these taste really good on everything we've tried. I think these products are great. So we vote for Grizzly Bear Canning Company. Yay, these products are delicious. Okay, let's check in with the chat. Oh yes, I agree with Scent One 1000. Breadsticks, yes, absolutely. Oh, Maniac Grammy's Homestead's here. Hi, great to see you. So much. Thanks so much for coming to check out our live stream today. We really appreciate it. For those of you who came late, we've been taste testing products from the Grizzly Bear Canning Company, which is a boutique canning company located in Florida. And they sent us a package with these four lovely jams and fruit butters, as well as a big jar full of pasta sauce, which as we mentioned earlier was delicious. Mm. 
So thank you for that, Dennis. We really appreciate you being so generous and sending us these lovely products to try. Now we got to slather these all over like everything we can think of. So let's see, I still have a little bit of my puff pastry twist left. These were so good. Philip used puff pastry and filled it with the blueberry jam and then formed them into little twists. And we just baked them in the oven right now while we were live. And these are so good. Mmm. Oh, I'm making a mess. Really, I mean, you got excellent layering and crispiness on the puff pastry, by the way. Um, so what we wanted, what I wanted to know was, does the flavor of the jam hold up when you bake it in the oven inside mm -hmm. of a treat? And it the does. answer is, yep, I agree with Phil. The answer is it definitely holds up. You can mm -hmm. totally taste the blueberry jam inside of this puff pastry, and it is supremely yummy. Really, really good. Oh, I like that idea. What's that? Tobia, Chef Tobia says he thinks that the jams could be used in a salad dressing. Oh. I'd love to see how that works. If you come up with a recipe for a salad dressing using one of these jams, Chef, be sure and let us know because we will definitely want to try it. And Cooking with Yuzu is here. Hi, Yuzu. Great to see you. Thanks for coming to hang out with us. And it's perfectly fine for you to join things late because we usually run back over everything at least maybe once. So for those of you who were a little late today, we're featuring products that were sent to us from the Grizzly Bear Canning Company. It's a boutique canning company that anywhere you want. So you don't have to worry about going to the market because they aren't there. They'll come right to your front door, wrapped very nicely in a lovely priority mailbox. That's how we got ours. Everything arrived in excellent condition and we tasted this uh, blueberry one a few weeks ago when we did a live stream where we made uh, panini sandwiches using our mini waffle iron. And we used the blueberry jam and, along with cream cheese as the filling for one of the panini waffle sandwiches. And it was supremely good. But we had to wait until today to try all the rest of these. And it was worth waiting for because mm. these are so, so good. But when you get yours, don't wait. Try it right away. Because if, if I'd known that this straw, <laughs> these all taste good, but I mean, I, we probably would have eaten all these jars by now if we would have opened them immediately <laughs> when we first got them, because this stuff is really, really delicious. So let's check in with the chat. Uh, no, Grammy, right now, I don't think there is anything that's sugar-free. These recipes are old-fashioned, and I'd be willing to bet they're probably, you know, close to 100 years old. Uh, Dennis, the proprietor of Grizz Grizzly Bear Canning Company, is using recipes from his mother and grandmother. So back in that day, everything was all about real sugar, and it still is. But what I can tell you is that they don't taste overly cloyingly sweet. You can definitely tell that there's a sugar element mm -hmm. to these products, but I'd be willing to bet it's not at the high end of the sugar content for a lot of jams. Well, you get to play with the fruit first. Yeah, you taste the fruit really well, so it's not overly, overly sweet. Oh yes, Dennis has said. Dennis has said from Grizzly Bear that they're, they've experimented with doing sugar-free, but they haven't been able to get the flavors to come out to meet their standards. And uh, using uh, alternative sweeteners it's can be hard. really, really tricky. Yeah. You know, some if you use monk fruit, sometimes it adds a different flavor and it doesn't really react the same as sugar. There's a lot of uh, stevia. To me, stevia has an aftertaste. So I'm not sure how well, but I'm sure they'll keep experimenting. And as soon as there is a sugar-free, I bet that'll blow off the shelves too, especially if it tastes as good as these babies do. Every single one of the four of these jams and fruit butters tastes really good. So if you missed out what exactly we have, there is blueberry jam, strawberry jam, apple butter, and pear butter. And we've just learned that coming up, there is going to be pumpkin butter mm. as a special treat. So be sure you check out Grizzly Bear Canning Company. There is a link to their Etsy store below in the description. I've put the link to their store in the chat a couple of times, and I will do that again right now. Now, if you use the promo code Kitchen Queers, you'll get 10% off anything you buy from the Grizzly Bear Canning Store today. So. These are already very reasonably priced, especially for boutique homemade 
lovely, fabulous tasting products. And so if you can save an additional 10%, I'd say that means you can buy more. <laughs> That's what we always do when there's a sale. So let me check in with the chat again. Yes, I know. I can't wait to try the pumpkin butter either. Uh, we'll have to put in an order for that as soon as it becomes available. So let's see. What else do we have to show off this afternoon? I think we've shown everything we've have to offer. I want to make sure that I've checked with everyone in the chat room. Thank you so much for being here today. We really appreciate all of you. So let's go through the Grizzly Bear Canning Company products one more time. Blueberry and strawberry jam and apple and pear butter. That's what we've been tasting today. Uh, last night or yesterday afternoon, Philip used puff pastry to create these twists. And the filling is this lovely blueberry jam. Now we had tried the blueberry jam before on a live stream a couple of weeks ago where we made waffle iron paninis and we did some savory sandwiches and we did a sweet dessert type sandwich and we used the blueberry jam along with cream cheese and that combination was really really delicious so i think this would also be a great topping for like a cheesecake oh you know yeah, just definitely. slather some all over mm -hmm. the top or swirl. even swirl it into the cheesecake yeah. mixture that would be super delicious mm. Okay, let me check in with the chat. I think we've said hi to everyone. We, If I miss saying hi to you, just know that we appreciate you being here. We do go back through the chat a little later. What were you going to say? I'd also like Bill cupcakes. Oh, yes. Yeah, any one of these would be a really good cupcake filling. Or like we mentioned before, slather it on uh, one of the layers between your layers of layer cake if you like doing layer cakes. I think probably uh, Suzanne, I'm not sure if she's still here. Suzanne, you should, you would love these. I'm sure this would make a lovely addition. Suzanne makes really lovely cakes. If you're not familiar with the Suzanne Columber Cake Channel, check that out. And let's see what else. Oh, Texas food fans here. Hey, great to see you. Thank you so much for coming to check out our live stream today. We really appreciate it. And oh, good. Uh, yes, Suzanne is here. So Suzanne, I just want to tell you, I think you'll, you would love these for fillings for cakes. So let me know if you give these products a try. And let's see, since Texas Food Fan, you were a little bit late, what we've been talking about today, and for anyone else who came to join us partway through the broadcast, we've been talking about products from the Grizzly Bear Canning Company. And I mentioned this several times already. It's a boutique canning company based in Florida, and everything is done with old-fashioned, homemade-style techniques, and they use really, really high-quality fruit. And you can tell, because you can taste all of these different products all the fruit flavors are very upfront. You can, there's no denying what flavor that you're tasting. They taste really supremely good. And that's no easy feat, especially with blueberry. Blueberry can be a really subtle flavor sometimes, I think. But here, it is definitely blueberry forward. There is no doubt that the blueberry jam is blueberry jam. It's delicious, as are all the other products here. So there's blueberry jam, strawberry jam, apple butter, and pear butter. And coming up soon, we just found out there'll be pumpkin butter for the holidays. So you'll want to look for that. If you would like to order these products, you can go to the Grizzly Bear Canning Company Etsy store. I've put a link in the chat room for that. And while you're there, use the discount code KitchenQueers and you'll get 10% off anything you purchase today. So good deal. These are already very wallet friendly, considering that they're homemade, old fashioned. And there's basically you're not going to get these at a store because they don't come in stores. It's supremely exclusive. Actually, it's very easy to get. You just place your order online. Bada bing. A few days later, it shows up at the front door wrapped very nicely in bubble wrap inside of a lovely sturdy box. So we're very happy with the shipping was great. The packaging was great. The products all arrived mm -hmm. in excellent condition. They have these lovely, lovely old fashioned style canning jars. These ones with the diamond shaped glass. Some of you may be familiar with those. These are the kind that my grandmother used to use, you know, years and years and years ago when I was a little kid. I, that's where I remembered these jars. And that's, I think that really helps for me. It, they, it looks like old fashioned products as well as tastes like old fashioned products. And I think that's a huge plus. You can tell that these aren't bought from just any old store and there was great care taken to put all of this together and I really appreciate that and everything tastes amazing. I'm so pleased to be able to tell you that we like all four of these flavors of jam and fruit butters. Supremely delicious. 
Okay, so people are ordering products. Yay, yeah. woohoo. <laughs> all right. Well, we hope you all like these products as much as we do. You know, um, some of you who also run YouTube channels may have had the experience that once your channel starts to get some traction, people will start offering to send you products to try. And we've actually had people offer us products many, many times, but we do not always say yes um, because we only want to try products that we think we're actually going to actually use ourselves. And then I don't really want to promote things that I don't like. So if you see us recommending something on our show, it's because we personally are using it ourselves and we think it tastes great, works great, or is otherwise amazing and you might want to know about it. Now, prior to this broadcast, we didn't hadn't tasted any of these three, but we had tasted the blueberry. So I was confident from tasting this that if the likelihood of we were going to enjoy these was going to be significantly high, and that did turn yeah. out to be true. Mm -hmm. So all of these products taste really, really, really lovely. And I'm just so impressed that someone has taken the time and care to take these old fashioned recipes from the past and turn them into these lovely products that we can have now, because it's, you know, it's almost like being at grandma's house and having her lovely jams right on the table, right in front of you. Like when we were little kids. So I think this stuff is great. I think it's delicious. It's yummy. Really super yummy. So let me check in with the live feed once more. Okay. Oh yes. Okay. So I'm just checking in to make sure I didn't miss anyone's messages. We really appreciate you all being here. Uh, Suzanne wants to know which one of these is our favorite. Do you have a favorite? Oh my gosh. I don't, I'm not sure what I would say because I've enjoyed all four all of them. So <laughs> I will say different ones for different things. Maybe. But... Yeah. I, I think there I'd have different fav favorites depending on how it was going to be used. But if I was hard pressed for a favorite, I'd have to say the one I'm most impressed by is the blueberry. And, I have an affinity for things blueberry. I really like blueberries. And this blueberry jam, I'll show you again for those of you who weren't here what this looks like. <clears throat> it's this lovely, lovely shade of purple. It's a wonderful texture. It spreads really nicely. And the blueberry flavor is very forward. You will not be disappointed at the blueberry flavor here. I saw this particular product being used on another YouTube channel from our colleague Robert Jones at Eudaimonia Smart 2. That's where I first discovered these products. And then I made a comment that I thought the blueberry jam looked particularly delicious. And lo and behold, a few days later, there was a box full of lovely products at the front door from the Grizzly Bear Canning Company. So thank you, Dennis. Dennis is the proprietor, or proprietor of Grizzly Bear Canning Company. They're based in Florida and he makes these lovely things in his beautiful kitchen. And these, I think all these products taste great. But if I was pressed, Suzanne, for which one's my favorite, I'm gonna have to say blueberry, just cause I have an affinity for blueberries, like I said, but all of these are delicious. And I would be happy to have any of these on toast for breakfast. I was really impressed with the pear butter because the pear is a subtle flavor and it really came through as pear with the lovely spices he added. It was just- um, I agree. Yeah. I mean, I, I love all of them. But this is really, I think that's just. Yeah, I, you're right. The pear is also a very subtle flavor, but as soon as we open the jar, you could smell the seasonings or the spices rather, and the pear. It's very pear forward. And I think a lot of the goodness in the fruit flavors themselves come from the high quality fruit that they're using at Grizzly Bear Canning Company because, you know, with cheesy, you know, fruit that was picked way before it was ripe, you're never going to get this kind of flavor. So you can tell that they've used really high quality, fresh. fresh fruits for these products because the flavors are really outstanding. Okay. Let's see. I think I said hi to everyone. Pumpkin butter. Yes, I know. We can't wait for the pumpkin butter, Michelle. <laughs> it's going to be super fun. And speaking of Michelle, Michelle is from Michelle's Cozy Home Channel. And I want to remind everyone, once again, there is this awesome collaboration opportunity that's open invitation that Michelle from Michelle's Cozy Home Channel is spearheading. And she also has co-hosts from the crafting community and the foodie community. And so a lot of us are coming together for this collaboration. There's going to be arts and crafts, home decorating ideas, tablescapes, super yummy entrees, some cool Halloween themed desserts. So if you want to get in on this action, there is still time for you to produce a video. 
the collab launches two weeks from today on Tuesday, October 13th. The name of the collab is hashtag Michelle's Halloween Boo Bash. You can go to the Michelle's Cozy Home channel and watch the invitation video where Michelle will tell you every detail you need to know to participate in the hashtag Michelle's Halloween Boo Bash collaboration. And I'll tell you what's really nice about the way Michelle set it up is the details are very straightforward and super easy to follow. So there's nothing complicated going on there. She did a great job of explaining how to participate in this collaboration. And it's going to give us a chance to cross over from the food community into the arts and crafts community. And I know we love arts and crafts. We do projects here at home all the time. And some of our videos, as you've seen, have been about arts and crafts. So we love an opportunity to cross paths with our friends from the arts and crafts and DIY community, as well as mix it up with some awesome food videos. So we're looking forward to this collaboration. If you have an opportunity in your schedule to create a video for the collaboration, like I said, it's Tuesday, October 13th. The videos all launch at 1 p.m. Eastern time. And if you would like the details, just go to Michelle's Cozy Home channel and check out the invitation video for the hashtag Michelle's Halloween Boo Bash. We're really looking forward to it. We have plans, but we're not going to tell you what they are. You'll have to wait and watch and see. But it's going to be super fun, and we can't wait to see what the crafters are crafting and what the foodie people are cooking. It should be a really awesome collab, and we're really looking forward to that. So thank you, Michelle, for taking time out of your schedule to organize such an awesome event for all of us to participate in. We've done collabs many times. And it's a lot of work to set it up, but it's always super fun. And we've gotten to meet so many new people from all over the world through doing collaborations on YouTube. And we think it's an excellent way to help raise the profile of your channel, as well as meet lots of new like-minded people and definitely grow your channel here on YouTube. So, okay. Oh, thanks, Yuzu. We really appreciate you coming to check out our show today. It's been awesome to have you here. It's been awesome to have everyone here. I hope I said hi to everyone in the chat room. If I missed you, just know that Philip and I both appreciate all of you being here and we really appreciate your continued support. We've been on YouTube now for five and a half years and it's been a very slow build <laughs> to build our subscriber base, but we're very fortunate that we have very loyal subscribers and viewers as well as lots of cool colleagues in the YouTube community that support us. And that means a lot to us. And it's really helped us keep motivated to keep on going. So when you're busy working on your videos and then you post something and it doesn't get all the views that you were hoping for, it can be discouraging, but we're gonna encourage you to just keep pushing forward, keep putting out good content and good things will eventually come back your way because that's definitely worked out for us. So, okay, I think we're just about to the end of our time frame for today. So once again, I wanna thank Dennis from the Grizzly Bear Canning Company for sending us a lovely box full of his awesome old fashioned homemade products. These jams and fruit butters, all of them taste really good. There's, have you seen a lot of people have had lovely ideas how to use them? And we think these products are awesome. So those of you who made a purchase from the links that we provided, be sure, uh, we really thank you for that. And I know that the Grizzly Bear Canning Company will as well. So we hope you enjoy your Grizzly Bear products when they arrive at your door as much as we've enjoyed ours. So thank you so much. Okay, are we ready? Are we done? Okay. I think we're almost to the end of the line. So thanks again for joining us today. I'm Mitch. This is my longtime partner, Philip. We're coming to you from San Francisco, California, where we've been trying Grizzly Bear Canning Company mm -hmm. fruit jams and fruit butters. These products are great. So I'm going to put a link in the chat room one more time. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can use the link that's in the chat or the link that's in the description below. And when you go to the Grizzly Bear Canning Company Etsy store, you can use the coupon code KitchenQueers and you'll save 10% off your purchase that you make today. So thank you so much to Dennis for sending us these products and for the 10% off offer for our viewers. I know that we appreciate it and I'm sure they will as well. And I can't wait to see if you sell out of jam. <laughs> so thanks everyone for being here. Thanks, Dennis. Thank you for everything you did. Philip made these lovely puff pastry twists for us today. And also the biscuits that we tried all the lovely jams and fruit butters on. So thank you for doing that. I couldn't have done this without you. Okay, everyone, we're gonna sign off. We're at the end of our broadcast time for today. We really appreciate you being with us. And we look forward to seeing you again really soon. And just so you know, 
we're going to have a brand new cocktail video on Friday. So check your schedule. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, click the subscribe button. If you click the bell symbol, you'll receive notifications right to your phone every time we do a live stream like this one today, as well as when we upload pre-recorded videos. So we appreciate you being here and supporting us. Click that subscribe button, click the like thumbs up button, and we hope you'll join us again really soon. So from San Francisco, thank you so much. We really appreciate you guys being here.